Suppose that the characteristic equation of a third order differential equation is the quantity r plus two times the square of the quantity r minus five equals zero. Because we have a characteristic equation, we know we have a third order constant coefficient linear homogeneous differential equation. Number one, we're asked what are the roots. Number two, we're asked to find a corresponding differential equation. And number three, we're asked to find the general solution. Well, the roots are going to be the solutions to the characteristic equation. And because it's already in factored form, the left side of the equation is equal to zero when r plus two is equal to zero or r minus five is equal to zero. Solving for r, we have r equals negative two or we have r equals positive five. But because we have two factors of r minus five, which gave us the root of r equals five, we say the root of five has multiplicity two. This will be important when we find the general solution to the corresponding differential equation. Let's go ahead and record this on the left. Number two, we're asked to find a corresponding differential equation. To do this, we need to multiply out the left side of the characteristic equation. So we have one factor of r plus two, and we have two factors of r minus five. There are no shortcuts here. We'll have to determine the product of two of the binomials and then multiply that result by the third binomial. Let's multiply r minus five and r minus five first. When multiplying two binomials, we have four products. One, two, three, four. This gives us the quantity r plus two times the quantity r squared. And then we have minus five r minus five r, which is minus 10 r, and then plus 25. And now we need to multiply the binomial and the trinomial, which means we have six products. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This gives us r cubed minus 10 r squared plus 25 r. Distributing two, we have plus two r squared minus 20 r plus 50 equals zero. Simplifying, we have r cubed, and then negative 10 r squared plus two r squared gives us minus eight r squared. And then we have 25 r minus 20 r, which gives us plus five r, and then we have plus 50 equals zero. And now we can use what we know about second order constant coefficient linear homogeneous differential equations to determine a corresponding differential equation for our characteristic equation. Recall, when we have a degree two equation where the characteristic equation is a r squared plus b r plus c equals zero, the corresponding differential equation is a y double prime plus b y prime plus c y equals zero. Because our first term is r cubed, the corresponding differential equation is y triple prime minus eight y double prime plus five y prime plus 50 y equals zero. Let's go ahead and record this above. And then finally for number three, we're asked to find the general solution, which again, we can use what we know about second order equations to write the general solution to our third order equation. The general solution is y of x equals, because we have one root of r equals negative two, we have c sub one times e to the power of negative two x. And then because the root of r equals five has multiplicity two, we're using the notes for number two, where if we have a second order equation and we have two equal roots, or a root with multiplicity two, the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the rx plus c sub two x e to the rx. The repeated root of five gives us plus c sub two e to the power of five x plus c sub three x e to the five x. This is the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.